All right, so just so you guys know, there is a Man Cave Tool Store. The link is in the description below. You can get a hat, shirt, hoodie, long sleeve shirts, mugs, stickers, and a whole assortment of stuff. So please like this video and subscribe to the channel. All right, so let's do a little versus video. The strobe for the M12 is a lot faster than the searchlight, and the spot is bigger. All right, alrighty, so what today what came in the mail is the Milwaukee M12 flashlight. What I'm seriously excited about is a company, a tool company, actually made a real looking flashlight that looks like a traditional flashlight that works with a battery operated system like this. Very simple unboxing. Of course, I have to wait till it gets dark outside to test this out. And one thing that I also didn't even make a video on is this flashlight. So we're actually gonna test this flashlight out as well, which this is model number uh, 2354-20, 18 volt system. So we're actually gonna test both of these out at night. But let's unbox this, the, the M12 flashlight. This is model number 2355-20. And this flashlight is seriously, seriously awesome. Now there's a couple of different modes with this. This could go up to, I do not know what amp hour battery they tested this with, but I guess, uh, oh, with a regular four amp hour, on high, you can get it for five hours at 800 lumens. On low, you can get it for seven hours with 325 lumens. And with strobe, seven, seven hours at 800 lumens. So for they do have a strobe feature on this, so that's good. So the strobe feature is seven hours to 800 uh, lumens. So on high at 800 lumens for five hours, to me, for a single charge, that's fantastic. That's awesome. And this, this, I, 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 before I even take it out of the box, this is my main tool that I will be using for when it comes to a flashlight. This thing is seriously awesome. It's heavy too. It, it has some weight to it. And yes, it does feel like there are a lot of parts on here that are, that are metal. So yeah, it does feel like there are, is metal parts on this. Ooh, it does have a fuel gauge on, on it as well. That's awesome. All right, so let's, I have a two amp hour battery right here. That is awesome. All right, the battery is full. I'm assuming that's low, strobe, and high. So yeah, like I said, that's low, strobe, and high. All right, so obviously we're gonna have to test this out we are gonna have to test this out at night. So this is, with the battery, nine inches and three quarters. Nine and three quarter inches long. All right, so we are gonna go over this one really quick as well. I cannot believe I did not, I bought this a while ago. I did not uh, even make a video of this. So this is the LED searchlight, the Milwaukee M18 LED searchlight. And yeah, this, this is a beast. Now, obviously the M18 system, so you could use like 12 amp hour, hour batteries that'll last you a long time. And so uh, once again, this is model number 2354-20. Does it give any other specs on this? I'll throw the specs in right now because this actually doesn't say what it, the lumens are. I'll just throw the lumens in right now. So this does have a couple of mode settings as well. And yeah, and so it seriously, it seriously is awesome. And it does have a strobe feature as well. Uh, you, hold, uh, you hold down the mode button and it does a strobe. This throws 350 meters. This is a two meter impact resistant uh, housing and it's IP54 waterproof rated. Uh, honestly, I have no clue what that means, but that's what it says right there, IP, uh, IP54. And it shows the a storm, so I'm assuming that's water resistance. So you could use this in the rain. I'm pretty sure, obviously, it's not waterproof, but you could use this in the rain. It doesn't have some sort of a rubber gasket, so you yeah. So this is this is not watertight sealed at, at by any means, but you could use this out in the rain, I guess. IP54 rated. Let's go check. Let's go uh, to the field at night and check this out.
I'm not sure on how good this footage is, but we are in a very big field and we are gonna see. I'm gonna need the other camera for this. The GoPro ain't gonna show you much when it comes to this. Yeah, let's go get the other camera. Alrighty, so I am in the middle of uh, a baseball field that little leaguers use. Uh, it's a, it's pretty much nighttime, but we are going to test this out. and going to test the other one out, and we are going to see on how well this actually does. Now, what you could also do, you could have it at a wide beam or a concentrated beam. So that is seriously, seriously awesome. I'm like, look how far that is. All right, I'm gonna go, uh, we're gonna do a time on this. We're gonna see how long it takes for me to get to that. As you can see, I'm way over there. All right, so we are here at that tree. So as you can see, I'm way over there. So I can, so this camera is seriously awesome. Yeah, I'm not sure if the GoPro could pick it up. It probably can't. All right, so you guys, this, this flashlight is seriously awesome. Like it took that long, it shows the entire perimeter. And remember, this is a 12 volt flashlight. A 12 volt flashlight. So yeah, th this flashlight is awesome. So let's do a little test against, let's actually go up. This is seriously my, my flashlight fr from now on. All right, so that's close enough. That is beam. Concentrated. All right, so let's do a little versus video. All right, so that is, not sure if you can see it. back up All right, let's focus more on the ground now All right so we are gonna we are gonna do the uh, the widespread of this Let's do the plane a little bit more down. All right, so this is the, the search light. This is the flashlight. This is uh this is dim down, this is low mode. This one will, uh, 325 lumens. That'll last for seven hours on a four amp hour battery. Strobe feature. Then 
high mode. All right, so, oh, and one last test. This is the beam. That is the beam. Seriously, guys, for an M12 flashlight, that is, I've, I'm on this. I'm on this. If you guys, so please subscribe to the channel. Guys, I'm on top of this type of stuff. Though this, this flashlight's awesome. I recommend you get it. I'm being eaten alive by mosquitoes. All right, so this is the beam for the searchlight. So yeah, the, I, the, the actual M12 flashlight, M12 flashlight is better because the, the beam is actually bigger. The spot is bigger than the searchlight. But then this, uh, the searchlight does have another mode. It has the searchlight that's dimmed down with the spotlight. And then that, then for the searchlight, what you do is you hold mode down and then it'll go into, into strobe. Ooh, I'm being eaten alive. The strobe for the M12 is a lot faster than the searchlight and the spot is bigger. Yeah. So, and all, all together, based on the size of these two, I, I'd go, I'd say the M12 is the winner. The M12 is the winner on this one. Yeah, M12 is the winner. One thing I do wish, the only thing I do wish I do wish that the M12, the M12 was a white light. It's more towards the yellow. It's more towards the yellow than it is white. All right, so this thing is seriously, seriously awesome. I praise this flashlight. Now it's a 12 volt tool, 18 volt tool, and look at the size difference. All right, so in my book, the M12 new flashlight is better than the searchlight. Now it's seriously, batteries at three bars for a two amp hour battery. Batteries at three bars. And so yeah, this seriously is awesome. So like I said, what you all you gotta do is slide it back and forth to go from a concentrated beam to a wider beam. So this thing is seriously, seriously awesome. Get it at Home Depot right now. Uh, you can get, uh, there's two kits. There's two ways to buy this tool only for 89 bucks or a uh, battery and a charger with the flashlight for 129, I think. And so, yeah, this is my fa This is my favorite flashlight. This is not garbage, but yeah, this is the way to go. So I su highly suggest you guys get this flashlight. And I say congratulations to Milwaukee because a tool brand actually made a flashlight that actually looks like a real normal flashlight. No weird design, no unique feature, it doesn't look like a tool, it looks like a, a freaking flashlight. So this thing is seriously awesome and I recommend you guys get this. I'm going to use this for every single time I need a flashlight. Bam. Almost, but not 100%. This is mainly metal. Besides. Uh, this right here. It's I think I believe it's metal up to this last grip metal 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 not metal. So I believe that this is like 70% uh, metal and so yeah, so this has just been a pretty uh, this has just been a simple video of a flashlight If you guys found this video helpful, please like this video Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. Please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time